From the very moment you lay eyes on the SF Romanta Spider, you understand it is an amazing car. The design, the craftsmanship, the engine, every single detail. But only once you drive it, you really discover it delivers a brand new driving experience. The level of technology of innovation, the endless performance, the connection it immediately creates with the driver, and the ability it has to bring him beyond his capabilities, this all sets a whole new benchmark. The SF Romanta Spider has the same disruptive energy of our supercar. It projects the driver into a new era, an era it was hard to believe until now. It delivers 1,000 horsepower and, together with the Stradale, is the first plug-in hybrid Ferrari and the most powerful Ferrari ever developed. The performance is astonishing. It reaches 200 km per hour in 7 seconds and 0 to 100 in 2.5 seconds. Just a blink. It defines a completely new world. The endless power, the new 8-speed gearbox, the V8 turbo engine delivering 780 horsepower, the three electric motors for an extra 220 horsepower, the brake system deliver a thrill that you must experience to truly understand the utmost pleasure. Handling, performance, safety and stability are granted by the four-wheel drive and by the torque vectoring that Michael Leiters will explain in detail. Everything is engineered to melt the driver and the car together. Two bodies, one soul, to discover the ultimate essence of pure driving emotion. This connection starts as soon as you sit in the car and start the engine. Everything is designed on the philosophy, eyes on the roads, hands on the steering wheel. You control almost everything without having to move your hands from the steering wheel either with the trackpad or with your voice. Ciao Ferrari is the wake-up word for the voice recognition. And from here, you control the climate, the music, or make phone calls. In other words, you can just concentrate on driving and leaving the road. You can also choose the way you want to enjoy it through the special Imanettino. You can select four different power modes. E-Drive is ideal for a styling start or for an understated downtown drive. You can drive full electric for a range up to 25 km. Hybrid is the default mode, perfect for everyday drive. The car decides independently how to deliver the energy, electric only, internal combustion only, or a combination of the two. The objective is an efficient energy usage. When you select performance, you nourish your sporty attitude. This is great for amazing driving on winding roads or for track racing. The system prioritizes the battery charge. The car is therefore ready for an immediately sharp request for power. When you're shooting for the top, select the qualify mode. All four motors work at full capacity. This is perfect for fuel laps at maximum performance to enjoy the ultimate thrill of the track. With the SF Anomanta Spider, any ride is a mind-blowing journey. But when you open the retractable r it takes only 14 seconds and you can do it driving up to 45 km per hour, that amplifies the driving excitement with the sound of the engine and the pleasure of an open-air drive. The SF Romanta Spider delivers a breathtaking experience that brings the driver to an edge and beyond and back again, an experience you will never forget. This is an engineering masterpiece and the design must capture the very essence of the project. The architecture and the proportions are key elements of the design of the car, especially the very compact cabin with a kind of cab forward effect. The long tail, which is emphasizing the power of the engines and the short front bonnet. Despite the technical complexity of the car, the form is clear and, and very pure, thanks to the double layer cockpit, because we decided to keep one part of the car in body color, like a sculpture, a modern sculpture. The other part is 
carbon fiber integrating all the technical and aerodynamic devices. The cockpit design respects the aesthetics of the coupe and at the same time it becomes a spider which conveys an even slicker effect to the body of the car. The extremely sophisticated aerodynamics of this car is another key aspect of the project. It has been very important to perfectly understand it in order to sculpt the beautiful shape of the supercar. For example, the airflow which surrounds the cabin naturally generates this kind of spoon cut which conveys a very sculptural effect to the body side and at the same time recalls the P3, P4 air intake. One of the characteristic elements of the Spider version are the two buttresses which are sitting on a very iconic uh, feature of this car, that is the flying bridge. It's a very architectural element which gives a forward tension that we call slingshot effect. This not only gave us the possibility to show the entire engine bay, but also to create two force lines that are defining the architecture of the rear and giving a lot of uh, stance to the car. The rear looks like a spaceship and it shows the very futuristic approach to design, especially due to the trimaran architecture characterized by the two beautiful keels and by also the exhaust that are located there to keep them very short and the lights with their very modern cut embedded into the aerodynamic slot. The search for purity brought us to even perfectly integrated the rear spoiler that is not prominent but works by subtraction. The flying bridge creates the so-called uh, slingshot effect which conveys a forward tension to the old body and creates the arrow shape of the front giving a prominent and very dynamic effect to the nose. This defines the architecture of the front where again form and function merges perfectly and also all the aerodynamic devices are perfectly integrated into an organic vision, into an organic sculpture. There are three radiators where the first one has been emphasized because this is the radiator of the electric engine. Then the arrow shape stretches out, creating a very aeronautic effect thanks to these winglets which are integrated between the headlamps with a very futuristic and modern shape and the brake air intakes. Another very important chapter of this project is the interior, where the protagonist is the new human machine interface, a series of full digital screens, driver-oriented, perfectly organized in terms of ergonomics, which define the, let's say, cockpit architecture of this interior. It's interesting because when they are off, they are clean and very elegant, when they are on, they are futuristic and very modern. The design and the organization of the rest of the interior follows this architecture and there are three main elements. The carbon fiber and metal structural elements, the digital screens and the beautiful Italian upholstery. Another fundamental part of this interior are the seats. Uh, again, a perfect merge between form and function where the paddings are very ergonomic and directly applied to the carbon fiber shells. All these elements have been conceived with a very futuristic and modern approach with the intention of giving this interior the identity of a real spaceship.